Hey there guys and welcome back to Tech Easy. Me. So in today's video, I will be teaching you guys all about Zoom. So this is a tutorial for beginners. Zoom is basically a video conferencing software and especially during these times where most of the meetings are online and this has become a major part of work in today's life and many companies and employers have chosen to use Zoom. So there's many advantages that come with the software. Some of them include that you can have up to 1000 participants and that's not something you can find in everyday software. So that is a really unique feature of this software. So no matter if you're an employer and you have hundreds of employees, this is something that can make your life so much easier. You can also have up to 10,000 viewers watch at a time and this is great as well. So if you guys are interested in learning all about Zoom, then please keep on watching. So you guys, I've just googled up Zoom. I'm going to click on the first one that appears here and it takes us to the Zoom website. Basically, you can collaborate online. What you can do is you can either host a meeting or you can either join a meeting and that's basically up to you. A great benefit of this is that you can join meetings and you can either have your video on, you can have it off, or you can just share your screen. So you can do one of these three options. So the first thing I'm going to do is sign up. And you will be asked for this verification. I'm just going to fill this in and come back. So it takes up to it takes us up to the sign up page and here you can sign up using your work email address or you can sign in with Google or Facebook. I'm going to be using Google because that's the easiest one for me, but it's totally up to you guys which one you prefer. So I'm just going to click on this option here and here you can, you can choose what account you want to sign up with. I'm going to be using this account and since I'm already logged in I'm just going to click on the create account and here you're basically taken to your dashboard I'm just going to quickly close all of these and some of the most important things you need to know here are these so you have a place for your upcoming meetings you have a place for your previous ones and then you also have a place for your meeting templates. So let's get to how you can actually host a meeting. So here on the top right hand corner, you can see underneath when you hover over your host a meeting, you can see you can do this with your video off, your video on or screen share only. So for so for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to go with the video off. It's totally up to you which option you choose. You will be taken to this page here and you're presented with a couple of options. And these include downloading and running Zoom or just launching the meeting. Since I'm assuming that this is the first time you guys are going to be using this, therefore we actually have to download Zoom onto our desktops or our laptops and you can even do this on your tablets or your mobile devices. So let's just click on download and run Zoom. And you can save this wherever you want. I'm just going to be saving mine on my desktop and click save. So if we see on our desktop here, it has downloaded. So let's complete the installation process. Just double click on the icon and it should do this pretty fast. It depends on several things as well, but it should install this pretty quickly. Now what you're presented with is the audio options. So here you can choose to use your computer audio or you can have an, a microphone and then test to see that's working properly but for now I'm just going to click on join with the computer audio and here you're pre presented with what your meeting topic is you can see who the host is the password 
you can also invite people so if you just want to copy this link here and send this to people you can add participants and all of this is really useful if you want to make this bigger just double click on the screen here so now these are all the options that you're going to see inside your meeting there's no other participants here except myself right now but let's just go through all of the options and i want to show you how you can use each one of these to their best potential so okay the first one we have is a symbol of a mic and here you can choose to mute yourself if you just click on this button and then to unmute yourself you just click on it again and this is great especially if you have some noise in the background and you don't want to disturb your whole meeting or in general if you're not speaking it's actually a good idea to cancel out noise from your background so that's a really handy feature there's actually more options if you click on this little icon here and you can choose from all of these but i'm not going to go through them for now the next option that we have is the video one so if you want to turn on your camera you can just click on start video so if you want to test that out just click on this button here and it should start streaming your video my i have my webcam turned off so you won't be able to see but it should start streaming your video now and to stop this you just click on stop video so it's as straightforward as that so the next option we have here is about adding participants to this meeting and i've clicked on it and you can see that right now i am the only participant to add others you can just click on this invite others here now here you can see that we can invite people through several different methods including copying your URL which you can send to another participant and this is a really easy way of doing it or you can just copy the invitation. Other methods include email service so you can send this link through your email and you can do it by default Gmail or Yahoo. Because I'm already signed in if I just click on Gmail, it will automatically take me to my email and since I'm signed in and it will put all these things in for me like the meeting, the URL, the meeting ID and password and this is what your participant needs to put in to actually join the meeting. I'll show you guys that in the second part of this video but for now I'm just going to send this to myself. So to manage our participants, you just click on this one here and if you hover over it, you can see it's manage participants, you can see that down there. Now here you have a bunch of options to play with and a really useful one is to mute everybody. So if you just click on this button here, it will mute all the participants in your call. So you can say mute everyone and you can allow people to unmute themselves or you can take this option away so only you can unmute or mute them so if i click on this this will mute everybody that's in this meeting and this feature is actually really really useful because if you want to get your message across or be heard and you want everyone to pay attention and no one to speak over you this is a really really good option to have and it's really useful to know about this as well and you, if you want to look at the other options you can click on this here on the bottom right hand corner if you just click this you have options like mute everyone upon entry and then other ones like allowing them to unmute themselves rename themselves etc there's actually other options as well but i think again the first one is really really important because in the beginning everything can be a little bit of chaos so just to get everything in order and get everyone settled in you might want to mute them at the start and then let them in as the meeting progresses another thing i'll go through really quickly is if you want to rename yourself just click on more and you can see a rename option here you can rename yourself right now i'm tech easily to whatever you want and then for future you can save this and this is what your screen name will appear to other people 
next we have the option to chat so let's go through some of the chat options here um if you want to type a message in you can actually send this you have a bunch of options you can choose from so you can send this to everyone or if you have other participants you can actually choose who you want to send this to as well uh you can attach a file and you can do this from i'll actually make this so you guys can see you can attach a file from google drive microsoft onedrive your computer etc and send files into the chat this way as well another really oh if you want to send a message just press enter another really useful thing is that you can actually save your chats or you have other options like participants can chat with either no one the host only everyone publicly or everyone publicly and privately now depending on whatever option you want you just take that option and the changes will come into effect or if you no longer want a particular option just take the other one and it's easily done this way Another so the next thing i'm going to be showing you guys is all about screen sharing and this is actually a really really cool feature so let's go through that i'm just going to click on screen share and now you have a bunch of options like what screen you want to share for example if you want to share something from your browser um and a really cool one here is actually the whiteboard and it's so useful if you want to explain something through diagrams or drawings so let's just quickly go into that so double click that so you can play around with the options you have here you can draw you can add text you can actually erase you can clear um, you can save so whatever you want to do make a drawing and then you can save this or if it was just to demonstrate something and you're done you can just basically clear or save and if you want to stop sharing your screen there's a stop share button so if i just drag this down here so you guys can see you can basically just click on this button here and it will end sharing screen option for you now if you finished with the meeting and you just want to end it just click on the end button here and here you have the option to leave the meeting and end the meeting for everyone and this is only if you're a host you can end the meeting and just leave so i'm going to click on this option here and it takes you to where you began from now for the second part of the video i want to show you guys how to actually join a meeting so what you're going to do is click on join meeting and it's going to take you to this page here and to join a meeting you need to put in the id and or the personal link name now in order to be able to do this i will show you from my email so this is an example of the type of email you'll get from your host um, you'll be given the link to the meeting and the meeting id and password and this is what you need to use to actually enter those details in so you put in the id then you're going to need to put in the password so if i just go through this really quickly i'm just going to copy and paste this and you can see a pop-up appear here and you can basically open zoom meeting here and that's your way into the meeting that your host send you a link of okay so really quickly you guys i just want to show you how to get this on your phones so i basically just typed in zoom app on my app store and you can see that it's the second one here and i already have this installed so i'm just going to click on open and here you can see the structure is basically the same you can join a meeting you can sign up or sign in again i'm going to be signing in using my google account so i'm just going to click on google and continue 
Okay, so guys, once you have signed in, this is something you should see on your screens. You have meetings here on the bottom. You have meet and chat. You have your contacts. And then you also have your settings. Now, to join a meeting, just like before, you have to put in your meeting ID. And that's something you can get through email. And just put that in and you're good to go. So that's it for today's video, you guys. I hope you guys followed along easily and learned something about Zoom. And I really, really hope it helped you guys in any sort of way. So until we code again, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Please leave any suggestions or questions that you guys may have in the comments below. And I will get to them as quick as I can and I will see you all in my next video.